that's a week from now. We are expecting more than 700 delegates from all the districts of Uganda. And that meeting will start at 8 a.m. The meetings that you've <coughs> been told about of the, the FDC women and company metropolitan leaders are just to prepare for the delegates' conference. The theme of the conference, as you were told last week, the focusing forces of change to the struggle for freedom. And the main activity of the day, the acting party president, the Lord Mayor, will be presenting a report on the consultations that we did around the country. As I also said earlier, in these consultations, nearly 80% of the FDC leaders we consulted came to the conclusion that it's the best interest of the struggle for freedom form a new platform, but that decision will be formally made by the delegates' conference. It is not a decision that uh, uh, can be informally taken, so the formal meeting will actually be to adopt that decision. So the, I'll ask the Deputy Lord Mayor to make comments on two issues. One is Chitezi and then the second one. The International Youth Day, which is taking place today all over the world. Um, maybe also to let you know that uh, this letter for which we were arrested, taking to the Kenyan High Commission, we have found a way of taking it there. You can see stamped by the Kenyan High Commission. But after the delegates conference, we tend to go back now to demand for the answer. So after the delegates' conference, we will congregate here and peacefully walk to the Kenyan High Commission to receive the response. Because we are, we are delayed by police, we thought we are going to do two things, deliver the letter and receive a response. But police didn't uh, afford us that uh, opportunity. So after the delegates' conference, we will be walking back to the Kenyan High Commission Maybe last time we were a few, so they, they wanted all of us to go. So it will be more than the number that you saw. Uh, may I now invite uh, these document details? So general Mutuara kasasi wa mchifukimu, ujua iteka wa uromu isa nga wa mutuara. Awali kujinja wa diba wafuga wa olekede chitezi. Awali inatete wa wafuga wa olekede chitezi. Yeti chifuga wa unokuche yo ngera yo. Tuinoku waka tunatujina ewa teki waka sasi wa info binji nga vyanja wa. Awali na yi masaka wa toroza ni masaka wa di uluwa mwa wa ntu bazi mbiye wa. Government is not only a rich for a much very nice, but for you, Kasasi, I think that is in the double money. But for them, the target is getting details. Kasasi, we are getting the processing of the money. We are getting 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 the Rogo anguwa ma, kati ya orayo tuli press conference, polisi yeta. Luwa chitwa watu wa lekitezi. So, echiziwa e echita ndikiru wako, pecha aso wala kusomba kasasiru wa matumilio ni mokaga msamu. Ngo mtuwa la kuchari chini. Bukola wei mifu, ateno mprocessing awa, nungatipa kena kuda mmolawa. Dini uzuwa uwendeo. Kuwange nsenda la, sifefe kawa ina kasasiru. The incident has become the same as the processing, and we took your processing like a sassy to Murava. When you go down, we get a meat pack as a Ogene Kareb. Sing out and do our Avenue Major Sagas in Guru Muji at Vajiri. Because we are to eat it in Chuka. So it is you see in Jabedun Dubagan, yet Chasura Kuba, Mumu Vaye Chengera, 
Neyari kukubo, avuga moto kagenda dundu kutuwa la kasasi. Buli eri ya mkampara wakiso, yuko kufuna nani fili, ignanyeo, atinga kasasi yuko kate kaiba mprosesi. Nero di mea, uh, nungu yuka wene timu bagia kutuwa detail. Kisha mseme nae okuwa yosendi, biya mutawudi. Biya mutawudi nanga kakimkoleki, kanso kempe yuko kusendi. Chuvula atemira mbo, Mumaraji sasa suli yaji jamu mocha. Ni anonye zao chato koko gani kwa kanzuri wake. Kila na tani kila. Kuna imbo yaji jamu, kaje yaji jamu yele zaji. Kasa siro kuhi kamba tu kufa. Ebi tuwe bikuta wole. Nzungai wemele ni na diempiwa chadondo is twenty eleven twenty sixteen. Ni mo office ncha ina mo ibo endo kuya world bank angi da mugari owa. Abantu wa wakura mu, uburwete. Abali nanyi wa uburwete. Yunasemba yu kuchari yu nachari MP. Mjunye yu yomura wa karoni. Buli mbwe fide mkambara wa jituwa na chitezi. Abantu nganye domestic animals ya koko za wazifide, mbuzi zifide. Nga waka wane chitezi, awafu. Bawo wosu, wosu nsura kasasi wote msanga mwoku buru kuomu. So, I want to write in a new Cavalera, a Bacoram, they need protection. No, I will not be there and be. No, Musanga, what Charanga, who stays, our Charanga, what to do. If I you are all in the vegetable coming in, the Rubano Yamu, which you are so long way in our van. Sing them seven tables, see, I will die when you quite a Sasso Waga and Charago. Never move from you over to our stays. So, Catimina again, they move your moon to a tabu to a Chasanga child again. Ni mba hichi ni chisera wichina kuwao Mweta kisa wao kusara amagezi Aga waste management mkampala Ndiwa kuinvesti nga mwye vintu kutule vila wali kwa Ladies and gentlemen, like you all know Today is the International Youth Day And unfortunately, like other days Which are recognized and are declared a public holiday the International Youth Day in most cases passes on muted and almost unnoticed. Of course that is absurd given that we are talking about over 70% of Uganda population being composed of the young people. That goes to show us how the M7 Junta does not care about the young people in this country. For those of you who followed events yesterday, you saw the unfortunate incidents that transpired in Soroti. Instead of the youth leadership talking about the issues that affect the young people, the unemployment, the recent arrests and imprisonment that we saw, the leaders of the young people we are fighting over funds. Which is absurd, which is unfortunate, which must be condemned by the young people. This must be condemned by all the right-thinking Ugandans. And I've always told the young people that we should not let people who are in their last days think for us, take charge of this country when we are merely watching. The young people, this country is in our hands. The young people, like our brothers emphasized, world over, revolutions are led by young people. World over, change is led by young people. And I am sure the young people of Uganda have what it takes. And like I have always emphasized, you pay a price when you keep quiet. You pay a price when you stand up and defend and fight for your country. May the young people pay the price of speaking out and defending their country. That is the message I leave for the young people. It's very unfortunate. Our party spokesperson has already talked on behalf of the leadership here. But I'll talk briefly because the Lord Mayor is already on the ground and at a later stage as leaders at KCCA, we are going to call for a meeting and we shall dwell into details. 
We stand with the families that lost their loved ones and may the souls of all those that died in the available instance rest in peace. I was rather shocked when I saw Mr. Mseveni seeming surprised, though seeming shocked about the incident that happened where innocent people lost their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, we have case studies because this has not only happened in Uganda. People were killed in Ethiopia in 2017 when garbage killed them. People were killed in 2018 in Mozambique when the same incident occurred. And we have been telling these things to Mr. Mseveni. We have been telling these things to Mseveni's government. Unfortunately, the lives of the people in Kampala, the lives of the people in Uganda have never been a priority to Mr. Mseveni. Chites was supposed to be decommissioned in 2015. The first studies were conducted in 2005. So if there's anyone that is supposed to be held liable for the lives that we have lost in Jitezi, it's none other than Mr. Mseveni. And as leaders of Kampala, we are still being, we are still coordinating efforts with our different officers, but our demands are two. Uh, our major demands are two that all those that have lost their lives, all those that have lost their property, should be compensated. And it is, must be decommissioned with an immediate effect. May the lives of those that died rest in peace. Thank you.